So let's dig into some of these behaviors. I said there were three, so let's start with the first, the most important one. And maybe that's why we call them the ones. Actually, it's not. We call them the ones because they represent about 1% of the people you meet in these open channels. 1% of the people that are interested enough about your brand to co-create with you. You know you hear all these nice studies from Nielsen and from BBC saying that there are 76% of the people out there who are willing to co-create with brands. Well, as it turns out, they're willing to co-create with some brand, not necessarily with your brand. When we look at brands in you know, silos individually, we see that the distribution is actually that only 1% are willing to co-create and engage in a proactive manner. So what does that mean? Well, let's exemplify this with Elin. Elin reached out to us. Actually, she posted this photo that you can now see in front of my face uh, on our Facebook page when I was working with Pepsi. What do you think Pepsi's brand manager thought about this photo? Is it according to the brand values? No, of course not. But that's not the important thing. The important thing is not that this is on topic or, or it's on a brand from a brand perspective. What it is, is that it is a strong signal that Elin is actually willing to hurt herself just to talk to us. Now imagine if someone is willing to hurt themselves just to reach out to you, what else do you think they'd be willing to do? Can you take that behavior and channel it in a much more productive way? As it turns out, you can. And that's why the ones, the co-creators, the people who are a little bit nuts, who probably like our brand a little bit more than we do because we're quite frankly getting paid. Uh, what we do with them is that we help them channel their interest for our brand or for this specific topic in a way that is beneficial for us, that helps us get enough content out there so that one content piece will start being interesting enough and noteworthy by the other behavior that I'm about to go through. So those are the ones. They're nerds, they're super interested and passionate about you, they're there to help you, they might not know how to help you, and that's where you start uh, to contact them to help them help you in a beneficial way.